Hi everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. Today I will share with you how I made this little girl. This is my winter wonderland owl. Isn't she adorable? It is quite simple to make her. I don't know, does it look difficult? I assure you it's not. The steps are very simple. It's totally no so. Yeah, I have hot glued it together all the way through. And uh, if you don't have a glue gun, I'm sure you can hand stitch it or take ordinary glue and just have it pinched together. You have to wait a little longer for it to dry, of course. And she's so cozy and she's part of my cozy scandi decor series this is part 12 and if you missed out on any of the other parts i'll leave a link in my description box so you can catch up and this series is all about making fall winter christmas cozy and warm with the inspiration from the scandinavian decor style so if this is something for you be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss it out on any of the upcoming videos because there are a lot of inspiration coming your way so let's do this i will start with this piece of foam it was once a mattress and i will just draw out how large i want my owl to be i make it um, a shape of an eight or a headless snowman if you will and I just cut it out with my scissors and then I will make a smaller shape on the top and one on the bottom and I just roughly um, draw up the shape and cut it and then I will bevel the edges like you see me do there and the other one And I bevel the edges on all my pieces and then I will do the same procedure with the back of the owl. Once I'm done, I just put that aside for a second and I will focus on the claws of my owl and I take a metal wire and I will shape it into, yeah, like that uh, with three toes and one on the back there as the birds have and a little piece that will form part of the leg as well and if you don't want it to stand which I wanted to do then this step is not necessary you can just lean it or have it like a cuddly thing on the sofa but I want mine to stand so shaping it like so and then I take my twine and I will cover the whole thing wrapping it with the juju twine just a little dab of hot glue here and there to fix the juju twine into place and then just wrap and wrapping until you, I am happy with the result and I wrapped it uh, double up all the way around to get a nice thickness this video is also part of a challenge Keep It Simple Sunday and it is hosted by Melissa at Melissa Makes It DIY and her co-host for this month is Annie at Indiana Jones and if you're not familiar with these ladies and their channels be sure to jump over right after this video and check out what they have to offer. I will leave links 
down in my description box to the channels as well as to the playlist of this challenge so you can get loads of inspiration. And when done it will look something like that and I make of course two of them two feet for my owl and then it's time to glue it together. I start with the back of the owl then turn it around and attach the legs like so just hold it into place until the glue has dried and then on top of the legs i put the extra foam there to make it nice and sturdy And to prevent my owl from falling backwards I need a counter support and I will make a tail for him the same fashion as I did the feet of the owl with the metal wire and then wrapping it with the jute twine. And it will look something like this, like an M. And I will squeeze it in between the foam pieces there and hot glue it into place. Adjust it a little bit. And then, voila, it stands. And I will use this faux sheepskin fabric for my owl. And I just cut two squares, one for the front and one for the back, like so. And I also have this beautiful piece of fabric that I will use uh, all through on my arm. And I will start with putting a piece on the stomach of my arm, like so. And I just hot glue it into place. Then I take the front piece and turn it upside down and I just trace where I want my hole to be, like that. And I will just cut it out. I cut it out halfway and then I take it like so and I trace it around so I get the hoop two parts the same size and then hot glue the front part into place like you see me do there and then to the sides I have cut up cut off the excess and now I'm just gluing it on the sides I have cut triangles and I'm gluing two of them together like so and two more the same way and that will be the ears of my owl and I will just position them and hot glue in them into place. And then it's time to hot glue the back piece into place. I will cut off the excess and then I am folding the back and the front and I will hot glue them together fur to fur and make sure that no edges are visible. If they are, 
Oh, it doesn't matter. It's just more rustic, isn't it? If you're new to my channel, hi, I am Marika, and on this channel I do lots of DIYs, thrifting, decorating, renovation of my home, some pottery, some painting, anything creative really. Please join me, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, and let's be friends. Time for the wings and I'm cutting out like um, half a moon shape like that and I just try it out so it's it is large enough the right size and then I cut one more the same just tracing the other one and now I have both wings and I will take my beautiful fabric there again and I will hot glue it like so and then just folding the sheepskin over it like you see me do there and cut it out the excess there and then cut a little more because I want that piece to be smaller so I can fold the faux fur over, over it on top like so and I just fold it and hot glue it just a bit at a time and then I take some stuffing and not too much but just to fill it out a little bit I'm working my way all the way around and close it up in the end and it will look like a Russian pie, like a pirog. And I do the same thing with the other one. And then I'm hot gluing them, starting on the back and then on the front, like so, just pressing them into place. And then I take my metal wire again and I will shape it uh, not much of a shape really uh, I will take the size that I want for the beak and I would I just need something to have my jute twine to wrap around so this will be like the skeleton of the beak and then I'm wrapping around and uh, making it thicker in the middle and then a little thinner on the ends. I take a piece of felt from an old blanket and I'm tracing circles, two of them, uh, with a glass as my template and then I'm cutting them out and this will be the first shape of the eyes of my owl. And then I take this fabric again that I've used before and I'm just cutting out a circle around one of the flowers in the fabric. Can you see it there? There it is. Beautiful, isn't it? And I will place that upon the felt. And that will also be a part of the eye. Now I'm searching in my stash for the right buttons to finish off the eyes the right size there I went for the bigger ones there you go looking good first I'm gluing the fabric pieces together and then I will hot glue them into place on the owl like so then it's time to place the 
beak and hot glue that into place and then finally the buttons and when I saw that blanket I thought mm, I want my owl to have tufts on the ends of the ears so I had to rip the ears apart a little bit so this step you could have done much earlier when you put the ears together but I didn't think of it then Now the very final touch, I will decorate my owl with just this golden pick and I will hot glue a walnut and a pine cone and a white little berry onto this pick. And I will not hot glue it onto the owl because I want to be able to remove it and decorate my owl for the seasons with something else for spring etc. And here she is, the cutest owl girl ever. I am in love with her. I think she is so cozy and cute. Now tell me, what do you think? Leave me a comment down below. I so love to read what you have to say in the comments, so please do. I have the Daily Thanks Challenge coming up on the 11th November. Be sure not to miss that. A lot of uplifting videos over there on the playlist. And also I will go live crafting together with Dandy Soap DIY on Thursday the 12th. So tune in to Dandy Soap DIY. I will leave a link in the description box to her channel so you don't miss out on that. So, if you like this video and videos like this, be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button, of course. Thank you so very much for watching. i see you soon again in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.